welcome back to the whatever gaming channel i am whoever and today uh, i was thinking of doing a little i was thinking of doing a little uh kind of how to what i've learned in dinkum in 20 hours video um so yeah so i'm just gonna try and kind of rapid fire off some stuff that i've learned from playing dinkum for about 20 hours or so this isn't the same game as my three other videos that's why the town might look a little bit different uh, i would started a new account just to keep that other account fresh if i ever wanted to go back to it for the youtube uh for this channel specifically all right so to kick it off We'll start with my house. All right, so my house, it's a little bigger than the house that you start with, pretty basic. Um, I'm not really gonna be making it really, you know, spruced up until I, you know, maybe get a bigger house or get some items actually able to, that I can then kind of, you know, actually design the house with. What you see is really what I have right now. So it's like Animal Crossing when you get clothing and you don't want to sell it or, you know, give it away or whatever. You just put it down and it gets put on a dummy. Um, I've got three chests here just to kind of separate my food, my green items, and my blue and yellow items. So, like, resources. Um, kind of the stuff that you find underground for metal detecting. And food. So I can go into metal detecting a little bit. There's two levels of metal detecting. There's obviously level one where you can get the metal detector and then we get like the metal detecting license. And then there's also level two, which helps you see items without using a metal detector. So let me see if I can find an item without using a metal detector. We'll go up over here just to check out the lay of the land. So the way you see something without a metal detector, if you've ever played Animal Crossing, it kind of looks like that. So it'll look like a little X or small divot in the ground. And that will let you know that that is an area where you can actually dig and you'll find some sort of item. So I'm trying to look around real quickly uh, right now to see if I can actually, oh, this is some resources that I should grab later. So just because there's resources here, if you pull up the map, say I want to remember that there's resources right here. If you want to do that, you can actually click and you can switch around different stuff. So I want to remind myself that there's resources here. So I'm going to put a little diamond there and that will always be there until I remove it. Yeah, so like if you look at the map, there was uh, trees here and I didn't know what to do for trees, that, specific trees that I needed. So I put a little apple there, let myself know that there's some stuff there that I could probably farm. Um, while we're looking for a specific spot where something would be visible, I can just pull out the metal detector and show you how that works. So metal detector, pull it out. I didn't put it actually anywhere. <laughs> All right. So metal detector, we're going to pull it out. If you do this, so yeah, you can search around. You'll start to see these uh, little white circles. If you see a white circle, that means that there's stuff nearby. And when you get that, that means that there's an item right there. So you're going to want to, I don't have a lot of stuff in my inventory. I was preparing to go down to the mines. There's my shovel. So when you find a square where there's going to be items, you're just going to want to dig. I found an old key. Where was there another? And then you're going to either throw the dirt back or whatever you want to do with it. I think there was another one right here. Nope. I'm going to use my metal detector. It was right there. And see, that is a barrel, so you can use whatever you want to break that open. And I got some items. Oh, that boy is being attacked. So, yeah, right now I'm not seeing any of the visible there is an item here type stuff. So, um, we'll just continue. Oh, right there. Alright, so this is, uh, this is what it's going to look like. And you just dig, and you get the same items from the other stuff. Those items do sell for a lot, and as far as I know, the I, you won't exhaust your item of resources. They'll keep respawning every once in a while, so you don't have to worry about not selling your stuff. I keep it though, just because I know that the uh, because I know I believe it's his name Simon. He can build stuff for you when you find discs for him. If you find discs, these are the shiny discs. You can sell them off to him, and he gives you like eight grand per disc. So that's also a good way to make money. Um, this 
is the mine. So I'll go over mining a little bit. I'm not going to go down because it's like 20,000 to go down each time because you have to buy a mining pass and you can buy one mining pass a day. So what I did was I bought a mining pass and I just went down into the mine thinking, whatever. Down there, there's shiny mushrooms, there's bats, and there are other enemies like shiny alligators and stuff. Uh, the shiny alligator hit me twice and I died. I killed a couple bats. The shiny alligator hit me twice and I died. So when you want to go down there, you want to make sure you probably have your upgraded weapon an upgraded pickaxe just to mine because there's going to be different resources down there that you don't really see on the overworld so and obvious and to get the copper spear and copper pickaxe you just need to upgrade your mining and your um hunting with fletch just by using permit points and to level up those things to get to that point you just need to do it so like if you go on a mining expedition one day and just go around and collect as many resources as you want so you'd apply for a license you get your mining license so level up your mining skill to get unlocked further levels right now i'm at the max mining level that i can be at but obviously it can go up because if it couldn't it would say max level so you have your permit points up there use your permit points too by um different upgrades, different licenses. So the way I do it is I don't buy a license until I have a plan for that license. So right now, of course, you can see I have 3460. So there are some things here that I can buy, but I don't have a plan yet for that stuff. So when I realize that I need that stuff, I will then go and buy. And I usually always have the permit points. You get permit points from completing these daily tasks. So just, you know, harvesting, you know, harvesting 500 out of a thousand. So next time I harvest a thousand things i'll get more more, more more permit points and so just to show you oh it's not simon it's franklin if i talk to franklin and i say i have some discs for you and give him the eight discs and he goes i can learn a lot but you want seventy one thousand dollars for them over doubled my money that i got right now so that's a deal i'll take that and then when he gets discs He'll learn new inventions. So I'll go talk to him. See, can you make something for me? And these are all the different things that he has for me. So he's got a few. He's got a couple uh, vehicles. A lawnmower, which will take away grass and it'll never grow back. A quarry, which will pull up uh, minerals for me periodically. Charging station, repairs power tools, which would be, you know, this compactor, smash dirt. Jackhammer, hammer away hard, hard things, so probably larger rocks and stuff like that, and a chainsaw. I assume it would just cut down trees really fast. And, you know, so there's other things here. Repair table, I have one of those. It will repair every weapon in your inventory. You just need something like a repair kit. So I'm going to grab that repair kit. It's $30,000. I'll take it, but it's worth it if I want to upgrade all of my stuff at once. Or not upgrade, repair all of my stuff at once. So that's the basics of, like, mining and whatnot. Let's go to farming. So with farming, there's a character that will come and visit your town. Her name is Rain, R-A-Y-N-E, and she will have seeds for you. So the first time she came to town, she had watermelon seeds, and I planted those in the in the summer, and those grew. Those only grow in the summer. So she came back, and it was about fall time, and she had pumpkin seeds. I didn't buy enough seeds to fill up my whole field, and if you don't keep you know your dirt maintained or it doesn't have a plant in it. It'll start to turn back into normal soil after you use your hoe to, you know, make it plantable soil. So right now I'm growing pumpkins in the fall. So when those are done, they usually sell for a lot, but I, you can also use them to make a scarecrow to keep animals off your other stuff. And over here, can I not jump that? Anyway, I have a door too. <laughs> These are all things that you can get from Fletch just by upgrading your, it'll literally say like you can get better fencing or other fencing options. This is wheat, same deal, got it from rain. I'm gonna close that so things can't walk in here. Got it from rain, growing wheat. I guess wheat can grow all year round, so it's a little, it doesn't sell for as much, but I just wanted to have a little wheat farm just so I had it. These are banana trees. The way to plant a tree, to tree is to just dig a hole. And if you have, I don't have any seeds on me, tree seeds on me, but if you have a tree seed on you, you dig a hole, you press Q to drop one tree seed in there and you cover it back up and the tree will immediately pop up. And then it takes a little while for trees to grow. They'll take a little longer. Like over there, I've got a little palm tree farm growing in case I need any quick palm, palm uh, wood. Uh, this one was kind of just for decoration. These are all apple trees. Same thing with these trees. You just 
pick an apple, dig a hole, drop the apple into the hole, cover it up. Apple tree will start growing immediately. Uh, for animals, you can upgrade that in Fletch's area now. There's just poop on my walkway. You can upgrade that in Fletch's area as well. And these... I forget the name of the guy who gives them to you, but he comes in like a brown tan tent. And you can straight up just buy a chicken from him. Alright guys, come down. You can pet your chickens. Um, yeah, so... Chickens, you feed once a day. You can buy the food from him, the gentleman who sells you the chickens as well. And the food's really cheap. And from Fletch, you can learn to make a chicken coop. I still need to make one more chicken coop. I just need to get the resources to do it. And it's just somewhere for them to hang out at night. I don't know if it ups your egg production at all. That's what chickens are good for. Egg production. And eggs, obviously, are good for food. And they sell for a little bit of money. So I've just been collecting those eggs. Maybe I'll sell them. Maybe I'll use them. Over here, this is my repair table. If I wanted to repair all my tools at once, I would use that repair kit and all my tools would be repaired. This is a grinder. Right now, the only reason I've used it is I throw stones in there, which will make cement. This is my furnace. Turns all of your ore into usable bars. Um, I don't have any on me, but it'll turn your ore into bars. This is a saw table. Cuts wood down to planks. Planks are used for these walkways and other and um, the fences and whatnot. So that's obviously useful. Another tip would be when these people come to your town, uh, you see I have like a quarter of a heart for Franklin because I haven't done much for him. But when if you want someone to stay in your town, like Rain, I wanted her to stay in my town because I wanted farming in my town. So she offered to stay in my town because every time she would come, I would say, I want to chat. And you ask them if they need anything. They See, he goes, I noticed you have four chicken eggs on you. I'd like to buy the four chicken eggs deal i'm getting chicken e eggs every day so it's fine with me and then they'll always give you like a reward so sometimes they'll give you clothing he just gave me money there and now you look instead of a quarter of a heart i've got half a heart with franklin so sooner or later he'll want to join my town so the thing with joining a town is i built that mine so right now my town is in debt two hundred twenty one thousand dollars. no i'm not donating right now and if you want someone else to join your town, you talk to Fletch, who's in my chicken coop area right now, and she'll say, do you want to apply for a deed? Or you say, I want to talk about my town. So we'll see if she'll do it while she's outside. Okay, I didn't want your whole life stories. Okay, so she has to be inside there. But it's I want to talk about the town. There you can upgrade your house. You can upgrade you can get deeds and stuff, but she won't let you get a deed if your town is in debt. So I put myself two hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt from building that mine over there. And I won't be able to get rain in my town until I cover that debt. This is just a grill that I bought from John's Goods and that just cooks food just like a campfire does no quicker no slower it just looks better than having a campfire outside of your house um this is the museum uh it's just like animal crossing if you played animal crossing if you uh, if you catch any bugs or fish that you know of that you don't have it actually won't highlight if you go up to him so it's just, you don't have to waste time going like uh do i did i have a does he already have this or does he not you just go up to him see if it's highlighted or not say I don't have anything so 16 bugs and they'll show up in these little areas where kind of like the environment of where you caught the bug like for example scorpion it's in the desert area same thing with fish you go over here see the fish that you've caught they'll end up in different tanks based on where you caught them um, I'm trying to think of anything else just like as a quick quick go of what I know um, so I can, fishing is actually really simple, if I can see, this is a, actually a kind of decent place to fish off of, because all these fish are in this lake behind my house, so let me get my fishing rod out, and I'll cast, oh, that's not my fishing rod, alright, that dog's not making this easy, cast out, you hold it, cast out, so there's a couple fish right here, so that fish looks like it's gonna bite, you wait, until he bites and when he bites you kind of give it a little hook and you wait 
Wait till water stops kicking up and you pull. As you can see, my rod has durability over there. So if you pull while the fish is kicking, it'll bring your durability down. If your durability goes down to zero, your line breaks. So you just have to keep pulling in, keep pulling in. And if he goes back to kicking, you stop and then you pull in and I'll get him this time. Here you go, caught a silver perch. You can either cook fish, you can either sell fish, or you can donate it over to the museum. I've already caught that perch many times, so I'm not going to donate it to the museum. As you can see, this chicken doesn't have a coop, so she's sleeping. At he, she's sleeping outside. These two are in their coops. So these are torches. They just cost a mangrove. Uh, I assume you can get like lamps and stuff later, but because torches obviously. You know, it just looks like a campfire, you know, it doesn't look too good. So, oh, uh, the fish, I'll just show you that the oven or the grill works the same way. Oh, you can't just cook fish. Oh, well, I lied. You can't just cook fish on the grill. All right, so yeah, you can either donate fish, sell fish, or I wonder if you can just straight up eat it. No, you can't. Okay. So it looks like fish can't be used for food. Maybe they can be used at the cooking table. I'll show you what the cooking table is. This is the cooking table inside my house. You go up to the cooking table and you can create different dishes. So you click on it, it'll show you what you need for the dish. I obviously don't have any of this stuff yet and it'll just make you a uh, better than, you know, just eating a single banana or eating, you know, just a chicken egg. So that, yeah, that's what a, that's what a cooking table does for you. I'll show you here. These are the ore that you can get. So iron bars, I bought it. I bought that one from John because sometimes he'll have stuff in his store that's worth buying other than the stuff that you generally need. What time is it? 6.30, I think his store is closed. I think it closes at six, yeah, or 6.30. Um, yeah, so that iron bar that I said, that's something that I guess is you can find in the overworld, but it's like extremely rare. So if you want iron bars, that's what you're gonna go deep diving into the mine for. But like I said, the mine is very dangerous. I still haven't figured it out. I've only gone down once and I died really quickly. There are glowy mushrooms down there. There's bats, like I said, and there's other th creatures. My dog's barking. Uh, like alligators and stuff like that that are gonna kill you. All right, um, I that's a quick overview of what I've done so far, what I've learned so far in uh, Dinkum. And one of the things in Dinkum is like sometimes like right now, say like, I don't have anything to do. I've kind of built what I wanted. What do I do now? What I would do is, you know, I'd go on a mining run, I'd level up my mining a lot, go and collect a bunch of ore. I'll go out on an adventure, explore the island a little bit. And in the process, to do that, I will bring a bunch of food with me because I'm going to be swinging my pickaxe a lot and it's going to tire me out. And, you know, you're going to need food to constantly replenish. Maybe bring a couple pickaxes unless you have the upgraded one like I do. And one last thing, energy. You saw in my second video, I think I passed out. In my second Dinkum video, I passed out. When you pass out, nothing happens. You just go, you lose the entire day, so you just go to the next day, but you keep every item you had with you, and you just wake up on the next day. Okay, so I think that is actually it now. Um, if you have any more questions, anything you want to ask, uh, I can try and give you an answer to, because uh, I've done a lot in this game, and I've started to figure out mostly everything that I'm going to need to do. So if you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.